coming into Ball's Bluff Park this morning. We got here nice and early. So I wanted the opportunity to walk the battlefield and the surrounding woods. I'm gonna have it to myself. Thought occurred to me that the day can start off somewhat like any other day. And granted, for the soldiers, I'm sure that <laughs> any day was not their average day. But you've got to imagine, given the nature of the battle here, that none of them thought this was going to be a day that anyone was going to ultimately die here. And I do wonder as well, you know, through the course of the fighting, if at any point that thought had occurred to any of them, thinking, I got up this morning, I was gonna have a hot cup of coffee at the fire. Ensued was chaos with people dying, getting injured, and many people captured. And they say that as soon as a year within the battle, unexplained sounds and sights were reported in these woods. If we come down here often enough, perhaps we will be lucky enough to experience some of that. We're coming up on the cemetery there on the left, which is one of the smallest national cemeteries in the country. You know, sometimes you have to wonder when you come to a spot like this, how much, how much are you missing out of the corner of your eye? <laughs> also too, people have just reported even a feeling of coming out here and being watched. So we'll see if I feel some of that here today. Many soldiers attempted to swim across this river. Of course, they're in their uniforms. They're carrying their ammo. And unfortunately, quite a few soldiers did end up drowning. And their bodies ultimately discovered, washed up further down the river. And it's so peaceful here this morning. But as you can imagine on that day, was anything but peaceful. Am I alone? Is there anybody out here with me? Did you die in the battle here? Are you the only one here? Do you want me to come back soon? I'm gonna say goodbye now.